The photo you see here appeared in the 1984 yearbook of Occidental College. One of the women pictured in blackface is a former student, longtime supporter of the college, and until last month, a member of Occidental's Board of Trustees. The photo appeared in the yearbook just three years after former President Barack Obama attended the school. Oh, I'm just shocked that it like came out and that it was like in the yearbook. That's more shocking than anything. Students say the photo is shocking because it contradicts everything they believe the university stands for. Occidental has a culture of being very progressive and socially mindset. This is what Occidental is now, but it maybe is not what it always was. The college tells Eyewitness News administrators learned of the photo just last month. Since then, the student pictured Jenny Townsend has resigned from the Board of Trustees. In a letter posted on the college website, Townsend apologized, writing, quote, We entered a talent show dressed up as the Jackson 5, and in our minds, we were paying tribute to Michael Jackson and our love for his music. Knowing what I know now, my behavior was insensitive, disrespectful, and wrong. There's a history there. It's an offensive history. Earl Olfari Hutchinson, president of the L.A. Urban Policy Roundtable, says the apology is appreciated. But he isn't sure society today, as enlightened as it might be compared to 1984, truly understands the profound offense blackface signifies. There's a teaching moment. The message is, when these things happen, when there's a racist incident, a racist stereotype, a racist anything, you've got to jump on it right away. You can't let time pass. Because if you let time pass, the subtle message is, it's okay. Now, prior to this, Jenny Townsend and her husband, also an Occidental alum, made a donation to the school for the renovation of the campus pool. Since then, they have asked the school not to name the pool after them, and they're asking that their donation be redirected to scholarship money for first-generation students and female athletes. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Click the ABC7 logo to subscribe to our Eyewitness News YouTube channel.